Coach, uh, because recruiting is an inexact science, um, sometimes a player may not meet the expectations after his career is over that you had for him when you offered him out of high school. Um, If and when that happens, how much personal responsibility as a coach do you put on yourself? Uh, Me personally? Yeah, I mean, it's 100% on us, you know. I think the the, you're always constantly evaluating – how you evaluate, right? Of how how trying to find the best way to get to know player X at high school Y, you know, trying to figure out get the true story on Johnny Blue Chip, and and trying to figure out okay, so the information we got on this guy, you know, why did this not work? Was it the physical thing? Was it a mental thing? You know, all the all the factors that go into it. Um, you know, a lot of that stuff you've got to you've got to talk to those guys just right off the bat, and sometimes it's the most highly recruited guy or the highly um, a ranked guy that shows up and he's not the best player in line he's not the best player at his position and that's a that's a you know a psychological blow for those guys sometimes that they it takes a while for them to to overcome uh whether that's uh you know their feeling of inadequacy for that that moment or they're feeling like they're letting you down you know there's a lot of different kind of psychological things that, that go into it